Well, if you guys were like, hey, I just want to sit by Ollie and watch him play, then there you go. Happy Saturday. You were in the road. <laughs> just don't forget to laugh every day. <laughs> Good morning. morning. Good it's morning, guys. Saturday morning. Peter's finishing the vlog. I'm perusing the Facebook. Oh, Ollie was doing? right there. There he is. Stretch. Oh, stretch. Good morning. Good morning, pumpkin. Happy Saturday tail. <laughs> Ah, uh, Saturday. Ah, uh, Saturdays in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. Hashtag the best. I just want to soak up the sun. I want to tell everyone. I don't know. What do you want to tell them? You want to tell them, Molly? <laughs> that you love to play ball? You love Saturdays in the sun playing ball? Oh, watch out for that big pole. <laughs> He makes me smile. Me too. Are you ready? Get set. Oh. What? Oh my gosh, that is so funny. You're trying to get a video of him? I was trying to get a video of him, but it turned out to be just his Looking. Okay, Ollie, ready? Sit. Ready? Nice! Okay, throw it! Oh, that's one way to do it. You're gonna have to bring it to us because we don't really want to move. Oh, good. Okay, ready? We just had a delicious dinner thanks Here's to our amazing neighbors. Evidence. We just had ribs and corn on the cob. And some brown rice. Oh, so good. Um, they, I, you probably saw them walking in the background of our video earlier. But um, anyway, they were like, you guys want some dinner? We made too much. And we were like, ah, yes, please. I probably have ribs in my teeth as I'm talking, but it was so good. And you know how we love to get free stuff off Craigslist? Well, I recently became a part of some sort of a Facebook group that's basically like Craigslist. And we're going to go pick up a free lamp. And that's that. That's that. Saturday night at the Fry Life. I just worked on Oliver's front arms and Peter's doing his back legs. So... That part didn't feel right. <laughs> Go boy, Ollie. And of course, weeding t-shirts and Gilmore Girls. What are you doing? Do you guys see his fresh curls? Ah, oh, they're starting to air dry. They're starting to get crispy. Hey, Ollie, I like your curls. Oh, you have a funny look on your face. What are you trying to say? Trying to play with your ball and be silly boy? Are you so silly? If you guys have a dog who can destroy toys, you know, I don't know if you know this, but Oliver is able to destroy a lot of things. But these planet dog balls, which we talked about when it was his birthday, which is when they sent him all these. Now, this one was the original planet dog ball that my mom gave him years ago. And I thought, it's squishy. He's going to destroy that in um, <laughs> 10 minutes. But here we are years later, and it's still intact. And so planet dog sent us a bunch of balls for his birthday, one of which was this giant one. Now, it was rated for heavy chewers, but I thought for somehow he could get his mouth in here and chew it up but it's been like six months or whatever and he loves it and it hasn't gotten torn up at all. 
And then the glow for good balls, which he's chewing on the, right now, they're, like, these are quite hard, but the glow for good ball is, like, super easy to squish, and so we thought, oh, no, I wonder if he's going to be able to bite that in half, but nope, not at all. But he loves it. I think he likes how squishy they are. It's like chewing gum for him. But then he loves this one, because this is, like, a big old jaw workout for him to squeeze. Where's your glow ball? Did it go in that crack? Well, if you guys were like, hey, I just want to sit by Ollie and watch him play, then there you go. Happy Saturday. <laughs> this is what it's like to sit by Ollie and watch him play. Do you want me to get it for you? Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> he went upstairs to take a shower. He'll be back down in a minute since I have a bunch of water bottles that are now empty and crunched down. I decided, of course, it's time to go on YouTube and see how to melt water bottles down. And this is the gem that I found. So after about a little over an hour, um, I take the plastic out of the, the mold, and this is what I come up with. <laughs> Pretty nice. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> if I am in the market to make plastic little round things, I've got water bottles to do it. Yeah, you already started your little collection. So... Got that going for yeah, us. Yeah, that going for us. Oh man. Here's evidence that I was working while I was doing my vest tonight. And there's a giant bag full of it. So Mary and I have an ongoing joke that we could take all this extra t-shirt material and put it on a dark t-shirt to make it white. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Because that's such a good idea. I think it is. I think that's going to have to happen at is some it? point. I don't that know. That would be so crispy. Crispy. That's something we like about this vinyl that Peter chose. He researched what kind of vinyl to buy. And this one is not crispy. Yeah. Because we are not people who like, like, a big crispy decal on the front. Yeah. So to find one that wasn't crispy was really... Yeah, when you good. apply it to the shirt, it kind of... Like, even, like, this shirt I'm wearing, it's, like, crispy. It's probably screen printed. And the heat transfer just like transfers into the material of the shirt it's so nice it is nice and, and again another reminder that i don't know if anybody else has had trouble i saw somebody else had to put their iron it is all according to like what your iron setting is yeah it and every iron's going to be different so yeah you just turn it up if you need to go up a little bit for certain irons it's a certain setting so um we say in the video you know what typically works but there's also another video that explains it actually by the temperature and in fact they even explain that you can buy a temperature tester gauger thing and you can test your iron before you apply your t-shirt vinyl you do not need to do all this just basically if it's not <laughs> applying turn your iron up <laughs> it's as simple as that that's our t-shirt talk for the night yep there's the free lamp we got we're gonna put a new shade on it obviously Cool. <coughs> um, I feel like the longer that the study drug is out of my system, the less lows I'm getting. <coughs> yeah. Today and yesterday wasn't really 
any? I or dropped once. Dropped once. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I feel like it's a hard test <clears throat> because I'm be I'm trying to be ultra aware of it. Yeah. On a normal day, I might drop and not think a whole lot of it. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, as you guys know, I can go a week without dropping. So maybe these were just, I don't know. I guess when I, the plan is to, I'm going to speak with the doctor tomorrow and update him on my lows or lack thereof for those four days I was off the study drug. And then we will make a decision whether to add it back in. And I think we will add it back in. Yeah. Because in order to prove if it is the study drug making me drop, we have to add it back in to see if it happens again. Which I'm totally fine with. I know what to do. And I'm not going to be driving. And it's fine. So, as long as I'm, you know, being smart about it. But, so, we're going to check in with him tomorrow, and we will keep you guys updated yeah. as to what we do and how we proceed from there. But, yeah, that's what's up. So, happy Sunday. Yeah. Since it's your Sunday. And... Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate and love all of you in the Fry Life family, and we're cheering for you. And, as always, we will see you tomorrow. Good night. It's like 2 in the morning there, and he's like busting it out. So I want to do something to cheer him on. So what better to do then? 